fruitiness, fruitiness, red fruitiness, red berries. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a Glenfiddich here on my cask. I tasted already several Glenfiddich and this one is a, a very special one. This is a bottle originally designated for the travel value and this is one of a, of a series of three and they are called bourbon cask finish, Madeira cask finish and red wine finish. This one in particular. Um, they are called the age of discovery because they uh, pick up the theme of the, the time of the big discoveries in the world and uh, the box of this whiskey shows uh, ancient uh, sailing ships and the continent South America, we come to this later, uh, Africa and over here Australia. And uh, what is telling here, aged 19 years, 40% ABV, um, red wine cask finish, an extraordinarily rich Glenfiddich single malt scotch whiskey finished in oak cask previously used to produce the smooth complex wines of South America. Malbec, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon grapes combined with the oak to deliver exceptional smoothness complemented by a warm spicy note, sweet berry flavors lend a velvety sweetness. So the red wine typically originated in France uh, and the Malbec, uh, a very old species with a dark purple color. This one was well exported into the world, into the new world and was cultivated there also. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, very famous grape also exported. Um, Malbec, I said Merlot, Merlot as the third one, also a, a wonderful red grape. Um, in the beginning it was all, was all French wine and then there come this, came this Parkerization of the wine world when uh, Mr. Parker with his um, point system uh, which, were, which studied, he studied originally I, I think, what have I read? Uh, uh, legislature, uh, legal, legal affairs, but it was so boring <laughs> so he switched over to wine, it was good for the world. And so he promoted the uh, California wine, Napa Valley and uh, well and it didn't take for long until uh, the Australians and South America also adapted the red wine and today there are wonderful red wines from South America, Australia as well as New Zealand on the market. Wonderful. And all those casks reach Europe to be bottled and all those old casks well find their way or its ways uh, to the whiskey producers here on the back. This rich and delicious 19 year old Glenfiddich single malt scotch whiskey has been finished in oak cask previously used to age fine red wine as said in the front. Brian Kinsman, the Glenfiddich malt master and only the sixth in our history since the distillery was built in 1886, has personally selected the single malt scotch whiskies used to create this exclusive Glenfiddich red wine cask finish and the third in our Glenfiddich age of discovery range. There is a Madeira cask on the market, I think this one was the first and then the bourbon cask finish as well. I tasted both and uh, the Madeira was a lot better than the bourbon cask. Tasting notes, nose, toasted marshmallow, red berry and vanilla oak tannin, ripe fruits and a hint of woody spice. Taste spicy notes on first taste, deep and smooth with velvety sweetness, rich oak notes and berry sweetness. Finish sweet with a long lingering tannin, color rich gold with a hint of ruby. I'm afraid this one is colored. Oh, and here is the HMS Beagle. I've seen that before. Who knows which the sailing ship HMS Beagle was? Well, this was the ship with which uh, Charles Darwin uh, 
traveled to South America up to the Galapagos Islands where he found those birds with the uh, evolving Ha! Hmm. Ah, I don't know the word uh, with special characteristics and there he developed his theory of species. Yeah, this is it. Unfortunately, there is a, uh, in, a ring here to, to fix the bottle and at the bottom and those things uh, very often crack. So they are not stable enough. Uh, it's quite difficult to to get a bottle uh, without with a fully intact uh, card box. <clears throat> Here we go. Everything said is also said in the card box. Nineteen years old, finished. Well, this might be uh, casks which were re rejected for the use in the 18-year-old Glenfiddich because they were probably too weak and then they were used or they were well filled into red wine cask for finishing and this brought additional aromas into this 18-year-old and if they have finished for a year and then we reach those 19 years this odd number. Fruitiness, fruitiness, red fruitiness, red berries, no fresh fruit, but old dark fruits, and a faint hint of tannins, of spiciness, very little oakiness, but no marshmallows at all, no, I'm afraid. Wonderful, complex, little vanilla coming up. Smooth, no alcohol at all. Spiciness from the oak. Yeah. And then sweetness coming up. Sweet berries, wonderful. And in the back some some spiciness, some tannins, a hint of coffee. Long aftertaste. Very full, very very aromatic. Yeah. Hmm. Better. More. Well. Whenever you swallow some food, your brain says this must have been good because he swallowed it. So <laughs> I bring better thoughts about this food to the well self-aware brain. There's a professor in eastern Germany. Uh, he well, he looked after those connections between taste and, and memory and found out whatever you swallow brings better remembrance in your brain about this taste. There's this theory here. Yeah. And now there are those marshmallows, sweetness. No toasted marshmallows, no, but this sweet, awfully sweet marshmallow Aroma is not too strong. No, it, it's not overwhelming. No, it's it's a remembrance of marshmallows, of sweet marshmallows. And the second one is definitely better than the first. Really full and aroma, spiciness, woodiness, and the fruitiness of the grapes. Yeah. More vanilla. 
A little caramel coming up, the sweetness. A little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. No, I'm fooling. You can't tell the wine from the whiskey. Yeah, a wonderful whiskey. The wine brought a lot to this one. But I would have liked to see 3% ABV more in this whiskey. It would have given it more power, more impact. But well, Glenfiddich stays to the 40% ABV, so you need one or two sips more until the aroma manifests in your mouth and brings more and more aromas which add up in your mouth to a, to a full, well, red wine, okay, sweet aroma. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. I'm afraid uh, the Madeira finish and the uh, Oh, bourbon finish, they're already gone and I probably have not the chance uh, to taste them also. Well, this is a good one. Thank you for watching and feel free to share this video with your friends.